Hey everybody, today I want to cover a new firmware that is, uh, it's out there. There's a new website, there's a Discord channel, and uh, it's from the the same developer that uh, created a lot of firmwares already for your RG35XX, uh, Acme Plus. He has a new firmware called Newly that's um, it's out there. Again, it's in alpha stages, but it's uh, coming soon, probably in the next couple of weeks or so, that there'll be something that's more public. But right now, if you want to uh, be a part of an alpha, or if you like to play with the cutting edge uh, that's maybe still rough around the edges, but still be a part of that, uh, there is a Discord community and a um, and a way to get access to it. So if you join his Kofi page and uh, you do a small donation as a donator or a supporter, uh, you'll gain access to all his alpha builds and things like that that's uh, pre-release type items but if you don't want to do that you can still wait for a public release but we're going to go ahead and get into newly and what it is um, from the man himself acme plus so basically this is coming from his kofi page and he released this a couple days back about three days ago but uh, i'm just going to go ahead and read it i've just realized that i've not really published a post to introduce and explain what newly is I posted the initial teaser image a couple weeks ago, and the internet did its homework and found the new, still unfinished website, and link to the website there. Uh, you'll have links to all of this in the description. As some of you may have seen, there's a new custom firmware coming up that is called Newly, as stated on its webpage. Newly is a custom firmware for retro gaming devices, handhelds, bar tops, etc. It's developed as a fork of Batacera. It tries to provide support for devices that fall under at least one of these categories. There are no open source kernel and or U-boot sources available. There are sources, but the kernel is either not mainline and or too old. Example, devices with BSP kernel 3.4 like the Egret 2 Mini. Uh, this is no G oh, there is no GPU support or the GPU is not supported, so frame buffer is the only option. It's a device that I own and have decided to build a CFW for it, custom firmware. Makes sense. Uh, you can read more details on the FAQ section on the webpage. All right. With that being said, I wanted to explain how things are going to work regardless, uh, regarding releases. So all source code changes are pushed to the GitHub, and there's a GitHub uh, link. All early releases and builds will be only available for supporters as soon as the early firmwares uh, boot on the device. So as soon as he has something that's somewhat working, uh, there'll be some kind of a release for supporters. Uh, once builds reach beta phases, major builds will be posted on the releases section on that GitHub repository. So that's something that becomes public and everyone will have access to it without having to be a supporter. Um, intermediate or test releases will continue to be accessible for supporters. Okay, so what about when to expect each device to be released? All right, so the first devices being worked right now are the RG35XX Plus H2024, which are three different devices, uh, aka the Plush 24. Can you say that? Plush 24? Is that something that we can do? Anyway, it's three different devices, uh, XX. Actually, it's the XX Plus, XX Plus, uh, or the XXH, and then the, the new 2024. Anyways, first alphas have been already released to supporters, and work is getting to get them to beta phase in the next couple of weeks. Uh, Trim, UI, uh, Trim UI Smart Pro is already booting up with an early release that will drop soon for supporters. RG28XX support will arrive once I get a unit. RGB30 should follow after that. Previously released devices like the Powkitty A12, A13, PS5000, 7000, M17 will be synchronized with the same code based and updated, same code based and updated. So that's cool. Older older devices that he's uh, done custom firmware support will also uh, get a new uh, a new lee a new lean on life, a new lease. Right, that's what it's called. New lease, a new lease on life. New lee. That's not what it has anything to do with that. But I'm just playing with the words. Um, same thing for Astro City Mini and Egret Two Mini. Although these two require more work. So I'm gonna say that the Egret Two Mini his work. Acme Plus's uh, development on the Egret 2 Mini is probably his finest work uh, of all the devices that I've worked with him on. I, now, when I say work with him, it's like I've been um, the benefactor of his development, right? 
I've, I've been able to try things out and test things out. The Egret 2 Mini is the most impressive work that I've seen him do uh, just because of the whole screen orientation. And, you know, um, anyway, it's a really impressive piece of development, man. It was really awesome. Uh, so he's talking about that too, the Astro City Mini and the Egret 2 Mini, although these two require more work. Uh, frame buffer based devices like the Arcade Stick Pro, MVSX. Now we're going back to the roots. Uh, Capcom Retro Station, Neo Geo, uh, MVSX Mini and others will use the same firmware baseline, but will use a different firmware, most likely simple menu or simple, simpler menu plus. So for those of you that are subscribers that have possibly even subscribed because of the Capcom Retro Station and the simple menu or simpler menu um, videos and all that, uh, it's been over a year and there really hasn't been any word on uh, a release for that, but it's still there. It's just kind of like a little bit further down in the, in the, uh, I guess in the queue. Um, but it, the cool thing is that he mentions it here. So he's talking about implementing it into the arcade stick pro and VSX Capcom retro station, right? The new geo mini. Uh, so that's, that's cool. But, um, I mean, it's been a while. So for those of you that continue to check my channel or to find out more information on this, I mean, it's just, it's gone on tangents and there's just been a lot of new devices that have come out that, uh, you know, you, you can only go. You can only do so much with what you got. So he's his focus is intention. He's focusing his attention on these newer devices that have a little bit more, or that have a lot more power and capability, and uh, can you can you know get more bang for your buck, so to speak. So, um, but but the cool thing is that it, it's still being mentioned. So um, yeah, it's really neat. So that is newly, and that is uh, Acme Plus's. Um, kind of a write-up on what it is, what it's for, what it's going to support. And uh, like I said, the um, the alpha builds are already out there. So if you you know want to support him on his Kofi page, you'll gain access. And I'll have links to, the, to this. This is the website right here. So this is the official newly uh, website that has links to the um, commo uh, the, commo the, the repository, the GitHub and all that good stuff. So like right here, um, it talks about community. So it's probably a link to the uh, Discord, licenses, credits, table of contents, all that good stuff here. It's got the home play install. So there's instructions on how to install the firmware. And a lot of these are placeholders. It's not quite fleshed out 100%, but this is where everything will be um, available to you. Uh, the cool thing is here that he has devices listed. So there's a tri uh, the Trim UI. Uh, Taito, which would be the, um, the Egret 2 Mini. There's the Smart Pro Unbranded, which would be the PS5000, 7000 Pocket Go S30. So that's not something he mentioned in that um, that release or that one page that I was just reading from. Uh, but that is a cool little device that, I mean, you can't even buy it anymore. But if you have one, uh, again, it'll uh, maybe breathe some new life into that device. It is a really cool, it's a little, um, it's like, it's a little handheld that sh it looks like the, um, the Super Nintendo uh, controller with a screen, right? And it has like one analog uh, button or, uh, control, you know, a joystick, right? But it's a really cool little device, really neat. Uh, Unico talks about all the devices that they have. So the Neo Geo Mini, MVSX, Fun R1, Arcade Stick Pro. So he mentions the Fun R1 here also. Um, and that one just had a straight up Batacera build that you can, you can uh, run on it, which is cool. Uh, so yeah, he's got a lot of devices here, um, that there's the retro station though, the Tron. Yeah. The, uh, Capcom retro station. Uh, so yeah, it's really neat. It's a cool website. So you might want to check it out again. I'll have links to all this in the description. Uh, for those of you that are just finding out about this. Well, now, you know, a new firmware is going to be released for various devices. Um, one good question would be, uh, is it going to be available for the RG35XX original? And yeah, it's right here. It's listed. So there'll be something available for that. Um, right now, I think the focus is on the Plus, the H, and the, and the 2024 just because they're all, you know, running off of the same platform. And then after that, probably he'll be going into this. He did mention the RGB30, which I'm excited about because that's a really uh, capable device. It's a nice little handheld and it can do a lot of things. So again, Newly is an all new uh, custom firmware coming from Acme Plus. Uh, so those of you that have followed me with the Retro Station, the Arcade Stick Pro, the MVSX, uh, Egret 2 Mini, uh, Astro City Mini, 
the RG35XX, the RG35XX Plus. All of those devices have had custom firmware or some kind of a hack from Acme Plus. And uh, he's continuing development, and now he's got a name slapped on it called Newly. Uh, so I think, you know, one of the things that's going to happen is that uh, it's already happening. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that just real quick, just to let you know, if you're for those of you that are still listening. Um, one of the big things that everyone's really like all over with this, uh, with Newly and on the RG35XX Plus and H and all that, is um, Portmaster. So Portmaster is like the big thing that everybody's like, clamoring over and freaking out about and like really um excited for um there's been uh, if you join the discord you'll see uh, lots of uh, videos maybe pictures and j screenshots of of uh, portmaster running on like the the h and the uh, the plus and uh you know teenage mutant ninja turtles uh i've seen uh, what is it vice city uh lots of games right but I don't really know much about that. That's beyond kind of like where my reach in terms of what my interests are in. Um, but I'm certainly interested. I mean, if it can do it, I'd like to try it. But uh, Portmaster seems to be like the big, the um, the killer app, so to speak, in in these in this new firmware and what it's capable of doing and what it's what it opens up these systems to be able to do. So, uh, for those of you that know more about that and uh, maybe that excites you to to want to really look into it. That's it. You know, join the join the Discord, uh, join the um, be a supporter for Acme Plus to gain access to all this new stuff that's already out there. But uh, in the next couple of weeks, you'll probably have a public release, or he'll have a public release where it's something that everyone's going to be able to try out and uh, check out. And uh, as always, you know, just stay tuned and thanks for watching.